We drove 12 hours to climb five routes. Yep, that's right. Six hours each way to climb five routes total in the pouring rain. When I rolled up to work the next Monday morning and told my coworkers how I spent my weekend, they were confused why we would possibly do something like that. And maybe, just maybe, you're thinking too like, mm, maybe that's a little obsessive to drive that far and climb that little. I guess you can decide for yourself. I'm not here to tell you what climbing means to you, but here's what it means to me. Snacks, All right. drinks, go drive. We're in the car. So we're about an hour and a half away from the red. I just like, look how packed this car is. We got Kat, we got April, we got Jed, we got the Cheerios. Um, <laughs> and I'm here. We got the Cheerios. Yeah, let's go. We arrived at camp in the dark and after setting up tents and hanging out around the fire, we went to bed, ready to climb the next day. As the saying goes, but first, coffee. Hey, uh, hey, Mel. <laughs> what you doing? Drinking some coffee. <laughs> Out of what? A doggy bowl. <laughs> no, it's a fan. You know, just normal things. We started climbing at the boneyard. There were supposed to be several routes there in our grade range, but with the rain, only one of them was dry. Hey! If I could have just did that. Yeah, that was impressive. Yeah, why didn't you just do that, April? I think I tried in my head. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Tipping. Did <laughs> say tipping? Yeah, I was like tipping. <laughs> Can we call that out when we're falling from now on? Tipping! <laughs> It doesn't count as a fall, it was just a tip. Yeah. All right, so we're in a bit of a conundrum because it's raining, everything's wet. Did you know that when it rains, it's wet? That's a fun fact. After climbing the one dry route at the boneyard, we went on a slippery, muddy, getting lost type of a hike over towards Sunbeam Buttress. So we just spent a ridiculous amount of time in the rain. Everyone looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> because somebody undid the arrow, so we all went that way, and we should have went that way. Uh, look at my pants! <laughs> Can one of you or both of you describe our journey to get to this point? Very wet. I was going to say moist, but same thing. <laughs> so we came across this laundry mat <laughs> out in the wild. It's actually a coat farm. Uh, don't, just ignore that can of Pringles there. That's not part of it. But yeah, so, so. This is where RDI harvests the all their coats. Yeah, so this is actually, yeah, Jed, why don't you tell us the story of this coat farm? So this is a secret place in Kentucky where REI comes every year and harvests coats and then sells them to us. We're uh, contracting with them this year. We'll bring all these back with us. <laughs> it's They're sustainably um, grown. And in a variety of different colors. And oddly enough, brands that I don't think REI carries. <laughs> Sunbeam Buttress has a 510A called Moonshine that I was super stoked about. I thought maybe I could like... Kat, April, Ev, and I all tried time after time to pull the roof. It's all the way over there. I didn't manage to catch it on camera because I was belaying, but Jed flashed the roof part as it was his type of climb, all upper body strength and juggy. <laughs> Jed, what do you what do you think, babe? I liked it. It's a fun route. It's the, I do feel like the bolts are farther apart than most of the... Yeah, we especially between that fourth and that. fifth, yeah. <laughs> it, was like, yeah. it was the biggest fall I took in a while, but it's I think just because it's the biggest spacing. Are you proud of yourself? 
Yeah, I mean, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I had to work hard. <laughs> look at that. But you just look at it. <laughs> Judd and I climbed up to the second level of Sunbeam Buttress to climb a 5'9". Then it was time to pack up everything and head back to camp. After food and an absolute debacle where Jed tried to make me clean up noodles that he had accidentally spilled in the sink, it was time for some ping pong. <laughs> Who is your money on for the ping pong tournament? Evelyn or Courtney? Evelyn. Only because she played a when she worked at the other school. Oh, sorry, we're out of time. <laughs> This is your chance to be on the right side of history. All right, Jed. You're either like incredible or you're just, you play ping pong. Why do you? Um, Why do you like that? Okay, wait. Are you serious? This is an extremely serious topic. Who do you think will win the ping pong tournament? Ever me. I know there's one right answer. Are you kidding me? I could say it's gonna be a draw. That would be funny, but that doesn't you'll happen. You'll win. You'll win. I don't care about climbing everywhere. From now on, this channel is a serious ping pong channel. <laughs> so we're doing my stretching routine. First, you do. I can't stretch on this. You have to touch your toes. Oh, I forgot. You have to have the paddle so that you have the essence of the game. Yes. We have the essence of the game. Mm -hmm. So you have to... You have to remember what it's for. <laughs> stretch down and gently touch the paddles together. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't very gentle. <laughs> she goes... <laughs> Did you do your stretches? Spoiler alert, Evelyn won. Then we played this type of ping pong called Chinese ping pong, and the goal is just to get everybody around once while keeping the ball going back and forth, and we made it look absolutely ridiculously hard, um, but it was a lot of fun, so that's what matters. Jed and I got into a debate about whether or not you could taste the difference between regular and sugar-free aolate, so of course we had to test it. I feel like they're gonna be able to tell. I feel like they're gonna be able to tell <laughs> yeah. because you can tell the difference in between sugar and not sugar drinks. Yeah. I Courtney said tell. LA, you can't. Tell I don't the think I I'm think gonna so. be able to tell. So Kat is wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> She's back. Apparently, I like sugar free. Um, oh. April is yeah, correct. it's an aftertaste. <laughs> and Courtney so is correct. Courtney. Mm -hmm. Sugar free in front of the L8 bottle. Oh, I messed up. Oh. <laughs> correct. Nice. Oh, yeah. And correct. Hey. Oh. Oh. First person yeah. each time. <laughs> you two are opposite <laughs> of your best. This weekend in the red taught me that sometimes climbing isn't about climbing. Sometimes climbing is about loading up your car so full of people and things that you can barely breathe and driving six hours to the middle of Kentucky to hike around in the rain. Sometimes climbing is about headlamps and rain, sipping out of AL8 bottles around a table and laughing. Sometimes climbing isn't about the ropes and the pinches and the hand foot matches to a left hand side pull. Sometimes, climbing isn't about climbing at all. Damn, life can be absurdly beautiful, you know? Thanks for watching, everyone.
and stay hyped.